hello friend uh, welcome again uh, today i'm gonna show you how exactly you can run rest web services in your eclipse using tomcat apache server so for that uh, what we have to do is we have to install jersey plugin so i'm gonna show you how how to create rest web services in your computer and then uh, using Jersey REST web services. So Jersey is nothing but it will provide the API and more feature for the REST web services so you can implement without writing much more code uh, in the REST service API. Let me start with beginning. Uh, let me clear this one. So first go to the file and create new dynamic web project. So here we are not creating REST web services directly, but we are creating dynamic and then we, we have to add the new one, uh, REST, uh, Jersey uh, REST services for creating REST uh, API. Let me see. Uh, let me give me the name, REST web service, and then, so here target run, run time will be patch 7 and the dynamic web module version we are using 3. Or you can use three or la later also uh, later one. So it project I'm I'm just adding my project in the work set. So just click next and then in, insert uh, deployment descriptor. So it will help you to uh, create all the uh, welcome pages and the packages which is needed for our REST web services. Let me go. Okay, here we go. And then what we have to do is open the web XML file. Here you see some of the display display name, REST web services and the welcome file list in this format. So here what we are going to do is we are going to add new others and then we are adding RESTful web services. Okay guys, in your computer you might not see you might not able to see this one so you have to add a new plugin going to the eclipse marketplace and then uh, just write jersey plugin then it will appear so you just have to install this api uh, plugin to your machine and then you can able to see this one so jersey rest web service i'm going to choose that one and then i'm clicking next so i'm giving the appropriate package for my rest web services so I'm giving name with tutorial one, tutorial rest, okay, one, uh, okay, rest one. So just click finish and then it will create, look, you guys ha have seen this one, there is something, server blade mapping and everything, uh, server blade mapping and uh, Sorbet adapter, sorbet mapping, it's included here. So we have to be, we can change the path also, but that is not more important right now. So let me talk about that one. So let's go to the package and see, let's see our classes, which is created by our Jersey API, simple rest service. So this is the class. So here in the path, we have to give the exact path name. Uh, here I'm, I'm gonna use rest. And then the, it already created some method, so we have to put this one also in the path directory. So create something, and here is post something. So I'm just gonna copy that one and just paste it on the path, and put something. This is another method. So after this, I'm I'm gonna show you how exactly you can see in advanced REST service client like the request which we are sending from the REST web services are valid or not. So we will check that in the Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome by using advanced REST service client. So, there is. so in this case uh, you might get some uh, error also. Uh, the error will be like resource config instance does not contain any root resource classes. So how to fix that error is just go to your Tomcat and clean it. And then, yeah, and then just run it. 
then that problem will be fixed because before that one uh, before creating this one uh, I am getting the same issue so I just clean the uh, project clean the web server web server Apache and then I am okay even though I am getting that message again no okay let me see if our REST web service is working or not so this uh, this is the path like I, I, I have given that one here right uh, REST and then in web xml we have the rs url pattern rs here and the rest so we have to give that one let me see let me see let me see where is it okay let me try this one okay look let me see so this is the error the resource config instance does not contain any root resource classes so how to solve this error in your machine this is the one of the main problem i think a lot of you guys have seen in the rest service api so don't be panic just close this one just close this one also and go to the server and clean it stop it and clean it <coughs> sorry for that Okay, let me check this one in advance. <coughs> Rest service client. So I already I already install <coughs> advanced Rest client in my machine, so I can give the path. I can give path here in the directory URL. So Rest web service, and I have a Rest <coughs> this one right. Let's see what will be the result over here. Oh, sorry. So it will throw it will throw an error right now. 500 internal server error and then your message is uh, root clause uh, does not contain resource classes. So this this can be fixed by two ways let me see okay guys so uh, what I have done uh, just clean the server and then clean the project then that issue will be fixed so in this case look I am not getting this page so let remove this one and then see so you will get uh, HTTP status 404 page not found uh, uh, error right so in this case let let go here and see the rest full uh, client so that problem will be gone look rs rest right uh, just make it sure that the path which you have chosen is correct rest web service and then click send look 405 method not allowed it so what is the method we have used in our service simple rest service class so our method is get something right so go and copy this one and then okay my goodness and try to get the request first get something and give question mark and request equal to hello i am here and just click here and then send it so look 
this time our status is 200 ok status and then our response from Jersey RESTful World Service is hello I am here so this is the one method uh, I checked so you can check for another post and everything post put some delete in a similar way so guys this is the end of our REST service API and then let me summarize what we have done we are getting error messages like resource config instance does not contain any root resource classes so we have fixed that error by just cleaning the server here right click and clean it one thing and just stop it and then clean it then again if you cannot solve it then just go to the project right click and sorry, go to the project here and then clean it from here so once you have done that one you you, you can able to see the rest request in advance uh, rest pool rest kind yeah, here so this is the end of the tutorial thank you for watching thank you i appreciate cool bye